Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Black Mamba. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Nice strike. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Right hand upstairs. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Great punch landed, so much power. Look at the damage inflicted by that elbow. Oh, nice right hand. Back and forth we go. 
go here. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Ooh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, huge block! Liver kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Woo I, I don't do that as well as you do it, but man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooey, please? Ooh-wee! <laughs> <laughs> so good. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Spinning back fist is there. Beautiful body. Oh, shape. great combination. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Not there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice. Left hand punch in the clinch. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow! Good punch, Lance. Whiffs on the elbow. Got clipped with the right hand. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. All right, single color tie now. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. What a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on the highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw in the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round, a very strategic. I expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Ooh! What does he do now that he's back in the clinch? 
Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Just out of range with the straight left hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big head kick lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the punch. Ooh, head kick lands in the turf. Oh. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Huge block there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Got the single collar tie. Muay Thai plump. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lee's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Lunges forward with a left there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Well, you saw us reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Nice. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Battling for hooks. All right, so he's lit. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, oh! He blocks the punch. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off after several failed attempts. He finally gets got his chin up, but now he's trying to slip under the neck. Oh, look at this, jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. That mount now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Wow. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Ten minutes in the books. Hey, stop.
All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Real nice body kick land. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Spinning back fist. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Nice sneaky head kick. Right punches there. Single collar tie here. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate. Just out of range with that strike. Slips the punch. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. That is how you scramble, folks. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Big clutch lands through the middle. Big elbow there, Lance. and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, two seconds of round number three. To claim the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.